Welcome, children. It's so good to see you today. Are you ready for our children and worship time? The Lord be with you and also with you. Welcome to children and worship. It's so good to have you with us. Are you ready to hear one other of God's special stories? But before we do that, we're going to have our statement of faith. You all know that, don't you? It's always here in our heart box. And it's a verse from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 to 5. Let's do it together. The Lord our God, the Lord alone. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your might. Maybe you could show your parents how to do that and say that together. Well, now we're going to look at the church calendar because we are moving closer and closer to Advent. Do you remember last month when Cheryl showed you the church calendar? This is how the church tells time. And we are right about here now. And we are getting very close to Advent. This green time is ordinary time. And Advent are these four weeks when we get ready for, you're right, for Christmas. And then after Christmas comes Epiphany. And what happened at Epiphany? That's right, the wise men came to see the baby Jesus. And after Epiphany, we enter into a time of Lent. And Lent is preparing us for Easter the season when we celebrate that Jesus rose from the dead. After Easter is the season of Pentecost. And at Pentecost, do you remember who came? That's right, the Holy Spirit came to the church. And after Pentecost, we're back to ordinary time. So here we are, just a few weeks to Advent. And soon we will be getting ready for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed how the church tells time. And now let's sing a song together. I think many of you boys and girls know Jesus loves me, don't you? If you don't know the motions to go with it, just follow along and you'll learn it. Let's sing together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Now it's time to hear one of God's special stories. Are you ready to hear one of God's special stories? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is a desert box. Inside is a small piece of the desert. 
so many important things happened in the desert that we have to have a small piece of it in our room. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night, it's freezing cold. And during the day, it's burning hot. There's almost no water at all. The wind comes and it blows the desert. The desert is always changing. It is never the same. Once the children were very hungry. They cried in the night, even while they were sleeping, because they were so hungry. There was no food in the land. Their parents couldn't find food. So the people of God crossed the desert into the land of Egypt. They stayed, but then one day a new king called a pharaoh wanted the people of God to be slaves. He caught them in a trap, and he would not let them go. The people of God had to do what Pharaoh asked. They had to work when Pharaoh said to work. They had to sleep when Pharaoh said to sleep. They had to eat what Pharaoh said to eat. They had to live where Pharaoh said to live. They couldn't do anything on their own. The people of God cried for help, and God heard them. God spoke to Moses and said, Go to Pharaoh and say, Let my people go. But Pharaoh said no. Many terrible things happened in the land of Egypt. But still Pharaoh said no. Finally, the firstborn of all the Egyptians died. But not the people of God. They were safe. Death passed over them. Moses went to Pharaoh again. And Pharaoh said, yes. Moses rushed back to the people. The people of God were ready. They had to hurry before Pharaoh changed his mind. So they took unleavened bread because there wasn't any time to let it rise. They moved toward the great sea. Fearing any moment, Pharaoh's army would be right behind them. Then they heard the war chariots coming behind them. They were pressed against the water. Would they get away? Would they get away from Pharaoh? They felt trapped again. Then Moses cried out to God, and God showed them a way, a way through the water. Look at the people of God as they're passing through the water. I wonder how they felt as they were passing through the water on their way to freedom. When all of God's people 
pass through the water, the water closed. And the people of God were safe on this side of the water, while Pharaoh's armies were trapped. They were free. The people of God were so happy they were finally free that they had to give thanks to the one true God. So they sang their thanks, and the Miriam prophet led in the dancing. I wonder, I wonder what it was like when the people of God were hungry and they didn't have any food. I wonder how the parents felt when they couldn't feed their hungry children. I wonder what it was like for the people of God when they were in the land of Egypt as slaves. I wonder what it was like to be a slave for Pharaoh. Then I wonder what it was like when the firstborn of all the Egyptians died, but death passed over the people of God. Then I wonder what it was like as they passed through the water to freedom and what it felt like when they were finally free. I wonder what joy they felt as they celebrated and danced to give thanks to the one true God who was with them in Egypt and then set them free. And now it's time to listen to the Bible story. But before we do, we are going to light our Christ candle. The Christ candle reminds us that Jesus is always with us and always here. Now let's listen to our Bible story. Our Bible story today is from the book of Exodus, chapter 15. And it's the story of Moses and Miriam and the people crossing the sea. Here is the song that Moses and the people of Israel sang to the Lord. They said, I will sing to the Lord. He is greatly honored. He has thrown Pharaoh's horses and their riders into the Red Sea. The Lord gives me strength. I sing about him. He has saved me. He is my God, I will praise him. He is my Father's God, I will honor him. And now, it's the time for prayer requests. And I'll invite you to talk with your mom or dad. Do you have any prayer requests? Anything you'd like to pray about? It would be a good time for you to pause this and ask your mom and dad to pray with you. And then we will change the light. Changing the light reminds us that the light goes with us everywhere. You are called to be the light of the world. Well, we've come to the end of our time together. Let's sing Go Now in Peace. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you. Everywhere, everywhere you may go. 
Goodbye, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us today.